tweaking your fantasy baseball roster is a never-ending job, and that's what we're here to help you do. I'm Brandon Funston, along with Andy Barron's Yahoo Sports. And Andy, I'm going to start with a player I think uh, fantasy owners should go ahead and kick to the curb, and that's Elvis Andrews, a shortstop in Texas, owned still in three quarters of Yahoo Fantasy Leagues. This is a guy that's barely ranked inside the top 1,000 players right now. He's ranked outside the top 30 among shortstops. This is not a deep position, the shortstop position, but there are a lot of guys that can help you. And Elvis Andrews, for years, has been just an average batting average guy. Uh, really only helps you in speed and runs, but this is not a Texas Ranger team that's scoring a lot of runs right now. That's affecting Andrews' run total. Uh, he does not run, uh, at least the last couple years, hasn't been running as much as he did earlier in his career. He only had 27 steals last year and had was thrown out 15 times. Not a big number this year, only four steals so far. So not a lot of production. There's other guys that can help you right now. I would go ahead and, and feel safe to cut Elvis Andrews. Andy, who are you cutting? Yeah, you're a longtime Andrews hater, so I know you don't have to worry about yes, cutting yes, him I in any leagues. Uh, <laughs> the, guy, the guy I'm dropping is Chris Carter of the Houston Astros, right? I mean, we've been in this situation before with Carter just last year. We know there's power, but the batting average, such a liability. He's hitting 150 right now, and there has not been enough power here to overcome that. It's five home runs. That's not going to pay the fantasy bills. He's just such a staggering liability in batting average. Then the other thing you have to worry about, he's now hitting at the bottom of the order, so he's not in a favorable RBI position. You've got guys at AAA for that ball club that are, that are ready to take his job, right? John Singleton just had a 10 RBI performance a couple days ago. He leads the PCL right now in home runs. There's no way he can't do what Chris Carter is doing at the major league level. So I worry a lot about Chris Carter's immediate future and I want no part of that batting average on any of my fantasy rosters. All right, well, Andy, you're going to cut an Astro. I'm going to recommend you pick up an Astro. And a guy who's not actually on the Houston team right now, that's former uh, number one overall 2012 draft pick, Carlos Correa, just got bumped up from double-A where he was crushing the ball uh, to triple-A. And now we're probably looking at him getting a call-up in very early June, as soon as he passes that Super 2 arbitration deadline, I think you can expect him to get the call up. Right now, the Astros dealing with Jed Lowry's injury. He's got a thumb injury at the shortstop position. He's out until after the All-Star break. So, Korea, when you look at Houston dealing with Marwin, Marwin Gonzalez and, and Jonathan Villar as their shortstops right now, guys are barely hitting above the Mendoza line. They're hanging on to first place in the AL West. They want to continue to do that. Carlos Correa is the guy they need at shortstop. But I think in a matter of a couple weeks, he'll be there. This is the guy had seven home runs and 15 steals in 29 games at Double A. Uh, a great talent. Looks like a young Alex Rodriguez. I think his time is a couple weeks away. 20% owned right now. You're going to have to get on him right now because as soon as there is a whiff of him getting his call up, he's going to be owned in mass across the Yahoo Fantasy game. So who are you adding, Andy? Uh, I tell you, guy I'm picking up in almost every league where he's available is Brad Ziegler, Arizona Diamondbacks, right now. You got to add him right now if you're speculating on ninth inning situations, right? Because Addison Reed has basically been a ninth inning tragedy for Arizona. Uh, in his last outing, he gives up four runs. He blows his second save opportunity of the season. His earned run average right now is over seven. His whip is close to two. He's lost a couple ticks on his fastball from his peak. His swinging strike rate this year is about half of what it was last year. So Reed, in my eyes, is a guy who's pretty much entering his last days as a closer. And I look at Ziggler, the nice thing here is he's the kind of relief pitcher that you can own even when he's in a non-closing role because the fantasy ratios are so good. His ERA right now, 1.26. He has a sub one whip, that's great. These are great friendly innings for you to own on any fantasy roster. Uh, he's an extreme ground ball guy. We don't have to worry about a lot of home runs here. Doesn't walk a lot of batters. Ziggler is the clear replacement for Reed when that job finally flips and it has to happen soon.